Hi guys, it's Richard here and I'd like to introduce you to a new member of our family. This enormous, enormous peace lily which Paul got from a plot holder and um, presented it this morning to me which is lovely but it's a monster, it's an absolute monster. And this is the only place in the house that it can really go. It doesn't need a lot of light. They quite like to be in shade, apparently. I have had them before. We used to have a lot of plants in the house, but we stopped having plants because of the cats. We had, you know, three cats for around 20 years. And cats, you know, they'll, they'll chew anything. In my experience, they'll give a plant a chew, and these are quite poisonous, apparently, to cats. That's what I've heard. Anyway, we haven't got cats now. I'm pretty good with house plants. I used to keep quite a few. I'm relatively green fingered, so I have to I have to reignite my enthusiasm for them now. It will have to be pruned a little bit because it's just a little bit too big for this corner. And also, you know, walking through to the kitchen in there, if we're knocking the leaves continually, they're going to be damaged. And also to get into you know, these drawers and this cupboard. That's not going to be ideal, so I'm going to shape it up a little bit and see what happens, see if I can just reduce it in size slightly without taking away from the effect of it, because it is a beautiful plant and it looks pretty healthy. I'm not sure how old it is because apparently they don't last forever. So yeah, that's my job. I wasn't expecting to do that. Paul had put it into the into the car and he said there was a peace lily in the car. But I didn't realise it was this big. <laughs> and it's in a really good pot as well. A really nice, a beautiful pot actually. It looks really old. Um with some lovely sort of decoration on it. You probably can't see it, um, but it looks like painted, painted pot. I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can just make it shaped up. So I'll probably stand back from it for a while and, and just sort of get a handle on exactly how I'm going to do it. And it's an ideal spot here because it's relatively draft free um, and it's not directly near a radiator. It doesn't get, get direct sun. It gets a little bit of direct sun in the late afternoon in the summer. It, come, it shines in through here. But that's the only time we get sun here in this room. It's a relatively dark room. This is the middle of the house. Okay, yeah, so I'll check back with you and, and see what happens. Right, so I've got me scissors and I'm just having a look. I probably want the pot to be a little further back into this corner. I've got a light, um, one of my uh, living colour lights. That can be any colour you want, but it's on a sort of pinky colour at the moment. So I've got that on a, a little uh, cabinet at the back. So, I want to push this back slightly, I think. Just slightly. And then I'll probably remove some of the leaves that are encroaching on that cabinet and anything that's hitting the wall. Let's go back a little further, like that. First of all, I'm going to choose anything that is damaged and cut it off. It's funny, but when you look at this on camera, it, it looks so much bigger in real life than it looks on camera. So there are a couple of brown leaves. Apparently you have to go right down to the base. Can 
see, but the tip of that is brown. It looks weak, that leaf. I think of this as tidying it up. You know, you've got to make, you've got to make style choices in your home, and uh, I want things to look nice. So, sometimes you have to cut things back, same as the garden. I think I will have to take a couple of these big ones off. This one's going a bit brown, so I'm going to take that one off. There are a few at the back here, which need to come off they are encroaching. A couple of these smaller ones that are looking a little weak. Right, I'm going to stand back and just have a little look. No, it's not looking too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think maybe a couple more. There's a damaged leaf there. I might take that one off. Like that. Yeah, there's a fresh one come there. A bit crowded here as well, I've noticed. Just probably going to choose one of these to remove. That'll be the one with the brownest tip. That's got a brown tip. I think I'll take that one off. old brown stems down here as well. Just going to get rid of those and some small leaves that don't look terribly healthy. Okay, that's looking better. I'm not too happy with this bit here. It looks a bit, a little crowded. Making a decision as to which one I take off there is quite difficult. It's a fairly new leaf, that's a fairly old leaf. I'm going to stand back again. I'm going to turn it slightly that way, like that. I'm going to push that back just slightly. That's not too bad. One's got some damage, I'm going to take that one off. That's looking better. I notice this leaf looks a bit damaged as well. I'm not sure about this section, it's a little crowded. New leaves coming up. I need to get rid of that bit there, I think. Or is that a new leaf? I think that might be a new leaf coming. Take that one. I think I might take that one. good. That one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm just looking to see if I've missed any damaged leaves at all. I'm going to take that one. And I can see another one with brown. Let's take that one off. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. I'm still not happy with this. I feel it's a bit crowded. I've got to be ruthless here, I think. I think I've got to just take out... I'm going to take that one. Yeah. And I think I'm probably going to take this new leaf. Or well, that one, maybe. Maybe this one. If I take that one away... What does it look like? You see, I feel that's better. Yep. That's, yeah, I'm happier with that. I think there's a bit more air can circulate through it. That one I'm not happy with either. 
Yeah, I'm taking this one too. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to give it a nice water. And I'll probably give it a little bit of feed. I've got some baby bio, which I'll use to give it some feed. And yeah, there we go. Okay, new addition to the family, Peace Lily. May you grow for a long time and not drop dead on me next week. There we have it. Uh, new Peace Lily pruned and fed and watered. And let's hope it continues to give uh, pleasure to us, the new owners, because it's, I think, been looked after quite well. It could probably do with a further tidy up and maybe even at some point splitting and repotting, possibly. I think it looks good. I'm pleased with that. Well done, Paul, for getting that and saving it. Yay, it's a rescued peace lily. It's a rescue plant. Yay! Bye for now. Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. And also thanks for subscribing as well. And I really appreciate it. Thank you.